gonna pull your hearts out through your <laughs> You recommend and I review. It's just how it goes. Today, we're diving into another Netflix exclusive. F is for family and checking out all the crazy medical type situations that this show has to offer. And for those of you like myself who aren't too familiar with F is for Family, it's an animated comedy inspired by the life of stand-up comedian Bill Burr. It celebrates all things 1970s, including lifestyle, the music, and all sorts of other nostalgic details. I have to be honest, I have never seen this show or even heard of it for that matter. So this this should be interesting. But before we get into it, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an ER doctor. If you enjoy what you see here on this channel, smash that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way you learn when I post a new video. All right, let's dive right in. I love sledding. Waking up fish. Oh! oh. <laughs> what the heck? You gotta be careful. Hey. We all know that you don't want to fall through the ice like cause hypothermia, you could potentially die, go into cardiac arrest. The fish look like mama after she takes her arm. <laughs> There's a fish with a syringe. <laughs> run, 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 run. <gasps> oh. Oh! It really kicked me in the eye a little. Oh, nice. So a little bit of head trauma. Such a common area to get hit in the face and it bleeds like stink. A small piece of gauze or cloth or something push pressure on it to get the bleeding to stop. Wait, 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 my daughter's bleeding to death. Go, go, go. My daughter needs a doctor right away. Listen, <laughs> take a seat, fill this out, and we'll get to you as soon as we can. My daughter needs a doctor right now. Even though you're in pain, if you're waiting and not being rushed back, that's typically actually a good sign because the people that get rushed back, there's a reason and their life is dependent on the doctors and the nurses taking care of them right away. Well, for corn sakes, that boy has hypothermia. Yeah, he'll be oh, jeez. Oh, 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 relax. Whoa! Mary. Kids having hypothermia, which could be extremely deadly and dangerous. This other guy has what appears to be like a bear trap. Obviously, he's stable too, except we don't know if there's any vascular compromise. So we do need to take a look at that leg to make sure that there's good blood supply versus him not having any blood anymore going to that foot. If you don't get her a doctor right now, then I will follow you to whatever home for dried up old hags you live in, slap the cat food out of your mouth, <laughs> grab you by your camel hump, and put you through that <laughs> oh, that's bad. When people yell at staff members like that, it doesn't change what we ultimately end up doing. It might maybe even piss them off a little bit because they're human beings and nobody deserves to be screamed at like that, spoken to like that. It's not first come, first serve in the emergency department, unfortunately. Oh boy. And of course, he just passes out after he just gripes and yells and screams. And that could be from a cardiac arrest. It could be from something we call syncope, which is a medical term for passing out. There's a lot of different reasons why. Most common is something called a vasovagal event, basically where your vagus nerve interferes with the conduction of electricity to your heart and then slows the beating of the heart, which then decreases blood flow to the brain and you pass out. What was wrong with me? At the hospital. A couple hours ago, I couldn't even say the word baby. Your baby is f <laughs> Thank God. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Doctor smoking in the hospital hasn't occurred for umpteen amount of years. It actually occurred back in the day when they thought smoking wasn't harmful and doctors were smoking all the time. <laughs> and there won't be any problems with the delivery? Don't you worry your pretty little head. I'll inject you with a delicate cocktail of morphine and scopalamine. So morphine is a pain medication. Scopalamine has to do with like nausea, seasickness, that kind of thing. I'm just looking at the sign and it says we inject a combination of helpful toxins. Brings up a good point that all medication is potentially harmful to the body. So there's always something to be aware of. So you'll experience all the unbearable pain of childbirth but you won't remember a moment of it. <laughs> so that's not correct. So the medications that he just said that he's giving does not cause amnesia. So we have medications that will cause a type of forgetful feeling. You know, I don't know if anybody's had surgery before where you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, it's already over, it's done. Those medications are specific for procedures like that. When it comes to delivering babies, we do not give these type of medications. Um, isn't there maybe some <laughs> other way that isn't so barbaric? That's so funny! It's yeah. making my arm go numb! <laughs> 
Now he's having numbness to his arm. Is he having a stroke or is he having a heart attack? Most likely a heart attack in that situation. Typically, if you're having a stroke, it's gonna be one-sided and you're not gonna collapse like that because your other side's working. If the heart stops, boom, you're gonna collapse like that. Fortunately, we can't release any woman until her husband or closest male relative signs the papers. What? That can't be right. Oh, I'm afraid it is. It's been hospital policy since we started using malaria to cure syphilis. <laughs> malaria, which has been around for a long time, transmitted by mosquitoes into your blood. It's a parasite. We have medications to treat it, but it doesn't treat syphilis. It might have done experiments forever ago, but syphilis is actually just treated with penicillin, actually, even just a single dose, easily treated. Wait in here. But uh, unclaimed women's room. <gasps> That's messed up. <laughs> What? This is so messed up. So hospitals do have policies where if you've had procedures, anesthesia, they want somebody to basically take you home. So one, you don't get into a car accident on your way home because of maybe medications that might still be lingering in your system. And they want to make sure you're safe and somebody might be watching. But, you know, very unlikely, like you're randomly calling a cab or an Uber or a Lyft or any car service to, to get you home, unless it really just truly is like you don't have a ride home but there's no such thing as an unclaimed women's room. This is like messed up. Your husband called. Yes? He's playing 36 holes, not eight. Dude, she's got bilateral cast on. How are you even gonna function? Oh my gosh. Like, I like golf, but not enough to leave my wife at a hospital. That is messed up. Very disrespectful and not the way we should be acting in society. Well, I'm gonna pull your hearts out through your <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's not something that's possibly done. It is a stupid phrase. Go! Run, kids. Get away from bullies. They suck. Uh, no! Oh, it got him. Oh, no. Nobody's <laughs> working my kill book. Uh oh. Nice try, dickweeds. Oh no. He's got a knife. That's not cool. Cut your nose off and shove it up your ass so you'll go through life smell it up. Oh, karma is a son of a gun and he just got slammed by a van. Oh, he's still alive, he's moving. His legs are formed on the left. Probably a fracture dislocation of the knee maybe or a fracture of the tibia versus the femur. You know, you don't know. Get over there, kind of gently touch the patient and say, hey, are you okay, are you okay? See if they're responsive, if they're not responsive. At that point, try to roll them over onto their back, but keeping what we call C-spine precautions. So somebody actually holding their head as the body rotates, so you're not twisting in case there's a cervical spine injury and then you're twisting the spine and then you can sever the spinal cord. So you gotta be careful with that. And then obviously in this situation, somebody else needs to be calling 911 and get the person to the hospital ASAP. Philip, ask that guy to show you something in the back of the store. I'm taking that Whoa. stick. Well, that's against the law. Feeling. Okay. <laughs> the attempt. I love the attempt. And oh my gosh, this is hilarious. The heel on the right leg. Okay, so I'm assuming the leg that they gave the store owner or the person working in the store was shorter than his native leg. And that's why he still needs to have the high heel, which would make sense. But obviously this kid's got the stick all the way down his leg coming out the top of his shirt. You're in a lot of trouble, buckle. Please don't call my parents. What's your phone number, Jimmy? Ah! Oh! 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 Okay, so it is a fake prosthetic leg because it wouldn't just fly off like that. Man, he just took trauma to either to the back of the head or to his back and he's knocked unconscious. Now you gotta worry about brain bleeds, cervical fractures, facial trauma because you landed on your face. Let's see where this goes. Why did you do that? I don't want Randy to eat me. Let's get out of here. Oh. Oh. He's got traumatic injury of some sort. He's potentially gonna have a hematoma, skull fracture, intracranial bleeding. If it's uh, hit in the head, if it's hit in the back, you're worried about a cervical fracture or a thoracic fracture of the vertebrae in that area. You got in trouble, you did something, you gotta own up to it. You need to go watch the rest of the series, the F is for family. Besides just entertainment, we're actually learning something. Even though some of the medical scenes are a little off, 
they still were funny and messed up at the same time. Do you have a favorite TV show or movie that features medical situations that you want me to react to? Let me know which show or episodes in the comments below, or if I missed any F is for Family scenes that I should check out for another video. As always, make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more fun videos like this one, and check out my doctor reaction series right here to check out the reviews of your favorite TV shows. Thank you so much for watching, and stay healthy, my friends.